Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over section 6.1 of our virtual algebra 2 text on complex numbers. We're going to be taking a look at how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide complex numbers. Uh, sample problems that we're going to be working on are given here. Uh, for example, you have to find the difference between these two complex numbers, the product, and then the quotient. Don't forget, we have three practice problems at the end of this presentation that we'll like you to try out in order to demonstrate mastery of the contents of this tutorial. All right, so our task is as follows. We are to simplify uh, the following, okay? For question number one, let's say we have uh, the difference of two complex numbers, 8 plus 7i minus 5 plus 2i. All right, so let's go ahead and subtract these two. All right, so first thing first, we want to try and get rid of that parenthesis so we can easily combine like terms. So we have a minus in between them, the two complex numbers. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to distribute this minus across these two terms. So imagine as though there is an invisible one right here as the coefficient. So we're going to distribute negative 1 to 5 and 2i. When we carry out that distribution, that's going to enable us to drop the parentheses. So we have 8 plus 7i minus 5 minus 2i. All right. Now that we've gotten rid of the parentheses, we can go ahead and combine like terms, all right? So we know that complex numbers have the real part and the imaginary part. So let's go ahead and combine the real parts first. That's 8 and negative 5. So we combine those two. That will yield 3. And then... Um, Let's combine the imaginary parts, 7i and 2i. 7 minus 2 is positive 5, so 3 plus 5i. Ladies and gentlemen, there goes your answer to question number 1. Alrighty, let's take a look at question 2. Question 2, we're going to be looking at how to multiply... Um, complex numbers. So let's say we are multiplying 1 minus 4i by 4 minus 6i. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. Okay, so to multiply uh, complex numbers in this form, you're gonna we're gonna employ a, a procedure that's familiar to you, something that's used to expand the uh, binomial, so find product of binomials, which is FOIL. So we're going to multiply first outer, inner, and then last. Okay, so we're just going to use the FOIL method to multiply this out. Uh, when we carry out that multiplication, first we're going to have uh, 1 times 4, which is 4. Outer, negative 6i. Inner is negative 16i. And then last is positive 24i squared. Okay, let's go ahead and simplify this by combining like terms where possible. So we can bring down the 4. We have 4. And then we have two like terms in the center. They're both imaginary numbers. Minus 6i minus 16i is um, negative 22i plus... 24. Now, you notice that i has a power that's greater than 1. So anytime you have i has a power that's greater than 1, it should be reduced, okay? So if you have i to the second power, that reduces to negative 1. All right, so let's go over the rules for reducing powers of i real quick. So remember that i to the first power is just i, that's fine. i to the second power is negative 1 like we have here, i to the third power is negative i, i to the fourth power is one, and then the pattern repeats. If you have i to the fifth, it goes here, i to the sixth, 
and then on and on and on. All right, so just remember, if i has a power that's greater than 1, it needs to be reduced or simplified. And if i is in the denominator, the same applies to. All right, so let's finish this off. We'll have, we now have 4 minus 22i minus 24. We can now combine the first and last terms. Minus 4 minus 24. I'm in positive 4 minus 24. That gives us negative 20 minus 22i. That's the answer to question number 2. Okay, let's take a look at um, the last one where we are going to be dividing complex numbers. All right, so for number 3, let's say we are to do the following. We are to divide negative 5 plus 4i by uh, 5 plus 3i. Okay, let's take a look at how to do that. So as we indicated earlier, if you have a power of i that's greater than 1, it should be uh, simplified. And also, if you have an i in the denominator position, that should be simplified also. Okay, so we have negative 5 plus 4i over 5 plus 3i. So uh, we're going to rationalize the denominator. That's the name of the process. Okay, we're going to attempt to create a difference of squares. So recall the formula a, uh, a plus b times a minus b. That's the expanded form of a difference of squares, but when you multiply together, you have a square minus b square. Okay, now the beauty of this formula to um, Imaginary numbers, complex numbers that has an imaginary component. So you have a plus um, bi times a minus bi. When you multiply these together, it's possible to get rid of the um, i, all right? Because when you multiply, it, if you expand this, you have a square minus bi square. And then the i square becomes negative 1. So you have a square plus b square, basically, all right? Okay, now let's go ahead and apply that idea here. We have the a plus b component. So in order to create a difference of squares, we have to multiply it by a minus b on the top and bottom. This a minus b component we're multiplying it with is referred to as the conjugate in this particular setting. All right, when you invert the sign of the imaginary part, you get the conjugate. So we have 5 minus 3i. 5 minus 3i top and bottom. And then let's go ahead and uh, follow that out like we did in number 2. So when we follow that out, uh, on the top we're going to have first negative 25 outer um, 5 times 3, which is uh, negative 5 times negative 3i, which is positive 15i. First outer inner uh, plus 20i. Last will be um, negative 12i square. All right, so that's what you get when you expand the top completely. And then in the denominator, we can just use this formula here and write it as 5, uh, 25 plus 9, um, 25 plus 9, okay? But let's go ahead and show you let, and show you the work. So we're going to fold that out. 5 times 5 is 25. First outer in the bottom. Uh, negative 15i plus 15i uh, minus 9i square. Okay. All right. Let's simplify that. In the numerator, we have like terms, negative 25. And you can combine these two imaginary numbers. That gives you plus 35i. And then notice we have a violation here. Um, I cannot have a power that's bigger than 1. We have i squared, so we we'll simplify that. That becomes negative 1. So 1 is 12 times negative 1. All right. Then in the denominator, what do we have going on in the denominator? Let's simplify that. We have 25. And then minus 5i plus 5i are opposites. Those cancel out. And then we have plus a 9. And then we also have another i squared here, which needs to be changed to negative 1. All right, so there you have it. Let's go ahead and simplify further. 
we're now going to have uh, in the numerator we we'll have negative 25 plus 35i multiply these together 2 you have plus 12 and then in the denominator we're going to have 25 uh, minus Oh, small mistake. This was a this is a negative over here. So it's minus nine i squared. Okay, so minus nine i squared, so that becomes positive nine. Alright, super. So let's finish this off. Combine the real parts in the numerator. Twenty negative twenty-five plus twelve is negative thirteen plus thirty-five i. And then in the denominator, twenty-five plus nine is thirty-four. And there goes your final answer. All right, now we have three practice problems that we'll like you to try out in order to demonstrate mastery of the process of carrying out operations on complex numbers. All righty, so we have uh, three practice problems that we'll like you to try out. So I'll go ahead and pause this video presentation at this time and try out these uh, three practice problems. When you're done, reinitiate playback in order to reveal what the correct answers are. Alrighty, welcome back. Hopefully you had a chance to try out the three practice problems. Here are the solutions. Go ahead and uh, take a look at it. We'd like to know how well you did in this practice problems. Let us know in the comment section below. If you have any questions about the solutions or what we went over in the original presentation, just specify your questions in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to support you.